Hey guys, how's it going? I'm making a video right now on how to convert your Fortnite, Siege, Overwatch, and CSGO sensitivity to Valorant. So let's get right to it. Now thankfully, it's quite simple. Just know that certain numbers will yield longer results, so round up or down if needed. The difference between games will be minute, but having a running number like 0.4876 for your Valorant sensitivity just is unnecessary. Also, Note that these equations only apply if outside factors aren't being touched between games. So for example, if I use 1000 DPI for like Garfield Kart and like 200 for Valorant, I don't think it's gonna work out. <laughs> so for CSGO, it's pretty agreed upon that dividing your current CSGO sensitivity by a factor of 3.18 will get you your Valorant sensitivity. So just an example, if my CSGO sensitivity in-game sensitivity is 1.113. If I divide that number by 3.18, it will get me 0.35. And my Valorant sensitivity will then be 0.35. If I were to do Overwatch to Valorant, I'll be divided by a factor of 10.6. So if my Overwatch sensitivity was 3.71, dividing it by 10.6 would yield the number 35. That's very easy. So to get my siege sensitivity, it would be dividing it just by 12.2. And I won't give an example because I just gave several. It's really, really easy. Now getting Fortnite to Valorant is the exact same. I know, a crazy surprise, but it's just a little different. For Fortnite, if you're using the current percentage bottle, you'll divide it by 12.5. And you'll have to round up or down at the hundreds or thousands place. Just your choice. So if we have a Fortnite sensitivity of 4.4, we'll divide that by 12 and a half and we'll get 0.352. Now for me, I would recommend rounding down. And in this case, the thousands place. So 0.35 would be my Valorant sensitivity instead of 0.352. This is due to Valorant just being a game that really rewards aim and accuracy. And lowering it a bit really isn't gonna do anything bad for you if anything it will reward you when we're talking fortnite having its unique building mechanic it requires quicker movements and just the overall fast paced close combat doesn't make sense to have a very slow sensitivity but in valorant it does make sense to have a slower sensitivity so for me i personally have my fortnite sensitivity at 4.4 percent and my valorant at 0.35 like the example i gave above and from what I can tell, there aren't any discrepancies between the two. I feel like I'm jumping between the same game sensitivity-wise anytime I switch. Now, if you're new to these types of games, I'm gonna put a table up of some professional players and streamers, um, their in-game sensitivity for Valorant, so you can kind of get an idea of what everyone else is using. If you are, like I said, new to this, I suggest using them as a base because they kind of know what they're doing, but it doesn't guarantee that it'll work out for you. Try some out and form your own preference. Everyone's different, everyone's unique. So most of us aren't even playing at their level, so do what is fun for you and what's comfortable. A lot of them play at a very slow sensitivity and for a lot of people that's either a not applicable to their desk environment or not fun. A lot of people don't like to walk away from the computer feeling like their arm's gonna fall off. So I totally understand that and do what is fun and comfortable for you because when it comes down to it, it's just a game. However, if you are going to be a little more hardcore about it, I have a video up on my channel that will help you develop and practice your aim as well as spray control and just walking around the environment to your advantage. I do suggest watching that video if you do have some extra time on your hands and I will be making a follow-up video going more in depth to it and hopefully pointing you to external sources to improve your aim. But that's that and I really hope this video helped y'all out. If you did like it, please like the video and if you disliked it, dislike the video. Subscribe and if you need help on numbers getting crunched or any questions or criticism, do please comment and I'll get to you right away, all right? Y'all take it easy.